for two years, I get 100 legitimacy again. It's one of the, it's an easy way to uh, end the civil war. Huh. Well, I don't know. What do you folks think? Should I provoke a civil war to get a better ruler or abdicate? If I abdicate, then I, I trigger a war, civil war, anyhow. If it's really a uh, 20 legitimacy, then, uh, then it'll start ticking. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, Assam is down. I'm gonna keep on looting. Come on, King. Die. The best possible solution uh, now is to, for this king to die. So I get a new king with a higher legitimacy. So die, please die. Come on. <laughs> if you don't want a king to die, he doesn't. Uh, if he, if you want a king to die, then he will. Oh wait, I got this before. It, it says, uh, "Oh no, wait, what? I misread it the last time, did it? Uh, I was uh, saying ah, the tooltip is wrong. It said plus uh, sixty opinion with Ming. Nah, it's only plus twenty. So I, I, I mislooked. Uh, sixty military power or mercantilism? I don't know." Mercantilism is probably the better option here. That's it, Milita military power. Uh, it would enable me to uh, attack up. No, uh, I'm gonna take the mercantilism here. But still, this 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 entire rural uh, this entire uh, uh, rural oh, my my tongue Jesus uh, my this entire rule problem is uh, I'm gonna get civil war if I'm uh, if I'm not careful here. If I want to up my stability and avoid it, then I gotta improve it. I gotta improve my stability about right now. Uh, civil war starts ticking and. Uh, 30, 30 legitimacy, pretty sure. If it goes below that, your uh, civil war will start ticking. Huh. My king is only, what, 40? 32, jeez. He's a zealot. Give him that. Huh. Okay, uh, low legitimacy isn't the end of the world, but it does give you some uh, bad effects. It's not that bad. But if, if you got it at uh, 100, you get uh, less uh, revolt risk. And more diplomatic reputation, and that's what I'm worried about. Uh, I don't want Ava to uh, dishonor an alliance with me if anyone attacks me, so... I, I want to improve my relations, uh, my diplomatic reputation at all costs. So that's why, also partially why I didn't uh, integrate Sydney. I, I I don't know. I probably am thinking about stuff like this way too long. But uh, civil war is a real problem. Eh? My gut feeling tells me that I should just uh, up my stability, but I mean, how much? Wait, what? Ah, yeah, okay. I already got a coral naga, so I probably will have the the points to coral all this, even if I up my stability. Yeah, my gut feeling is telling me I should uh, do this really. <laughs> the Timurids are coming. Okay, Assam. Oh 
much? Well, 62 ducats a month. Oh, I don't know. I should probably uh, improve relations a little bit more with uh, Yu Chang before I annex uh, Assam. Because border friction and uh, other stuff will kick in and I don't want uh, them going on a negative opinion or, or going hostile or anything like that. Okay, that's it out. Point sixty three ducats a month from looting is actually pretty nice. I might just uh, loot these guys blind, really. They got like four, eleven more ducats to uh, loot. Why not? Go away, Sadia. Uh, do what you want. Uh, I don't care. You can even set them to stay in that territory. I don't want Sadia to loot these provinces. Go away. Yeah, bye, Sadia. If you put uh, an army with people attached on a province, you, you only get uh, loot proportionally to the troops you got and all the rest will go to the uh, the nation that is actually attached to you so it's not a good idea to uh, loot with vessels attached or armies that uh, are allies attacked attached so because the money will simply go to them well um i don't know i, I can't uh this guarantee by bengal uh it won't go away you know, I'm actually surprised they got guaranteed, but because you uh, you don't see Bengal expanding into your saying a lot. Well, I never saw it. I mean, I, it would need Bengal to to be pretty much uh, embroidered in other wars before uh, they would uh, revoke the, uh, dishonor the guarantee. Oh, okay, seems the music pack finished playing completely. Uh, Sarig, your gear? Got her. Uh, huh. Ixi and Karla. Yeah, I, I was briefly thinking uh, an OCB war against uh, Sarig, your gear to uh, get calm, to get to calm, but that sounds like. Bad idea. <laughs> well, Timurid's got the Ottomans as a rival now, so they probably won't uh, be able to defeat Champur. Who else might be pissed off for a Samuel? I I'm gonna start improving with relations with Champur just. Well, I know our air just got a little bit better <laughs> with a 5% morale tree. I, I want my king there, and I want him dead now. Igor is really trying to get, uh, get away from my entire. I actually wonder if uh, the people Khmer and uh, Langsang support the independence of Ligor. I actually wonder if they'll have the guts to actually fire the war. Probably not. I'm half hoping now that uh, Bengal gets uh, 
stuck in another wall. But, yeah, well, not gonna happen. Jump Hero ain't gonna declare anytime soon. They, are, they have a war of their own. Oh! No, they don't. What war is this in? Attacker against Bumulkan. Oh, okay. Uh, a bigger, a bigger um, jump Hero is actually in my favor here. As I said before, they are the rival of Bengal, and Bengal still doesn't have any allies. So yeah, I should plan ahead. I, I got very lucky I got this chance to uh, eat, to eat Tripura in Assam even while being uh, worn by Bengal. But I'm gonna have to take any chance I get to uh, declare on you Sam or Calm. Calm is, uh, is a problem because uh, that's wing. The, the, the warning uh, from uh, Bengal will actually finish at 1480. So at 1480 I'll, I'll come knocking on each, on each time. They got no allies. Their only ally Gooch uh, or whatever. Yeah, it's Gooch, right? They got eaten by the Timurids. That's actually good because on very hard uh, an OPM can even, can feel a decent amount of troops and you, you might think, well, Gooch, well, pff, who cares? Three developments. They can't bring much to the table. Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> on very hard they can. Got crazy bonuses. Okay, how's the looting here? Done, done. Okay, let's. I may as well end the war with uh, Tripura right now. They are looted. Nobody will care. Right? Well, I'm gonna wait till uh, the spy network uh, goes to 20 and then I recall the diplomat after uh, claiming the time. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I mean, I haven't even fully annexed Assam yet and <laughs> I'm already trying to claim. God. Um, okay. Please uh, load it all up, guys. But I I'm uh, actually... I mean, the changes they will do in uh, patch 120... If you loot uh, all the... Someone that you will full annex, will they keep the devastation bonus and stuff like that? I mean, why would you loot the province if you're gonna full annex them and you will only make the devastation worse? Uh, I, I don't know. I got my... I got limited fee uh some weird it's it looks well we'll see how, how it gets integrated in patch uh, 1.20 I, I, how will looting work uh if you loot a nation and then full annex them then looting doesn't sound like a good idea because that, uh, well oh, and the game uh has us uh, turned uh around a bit and uh, it's constantly throwing bad events at me now. Well, corruption, here I come. Yeah, next month I'll, I'll simply make peace with both. Yeah, India is on fire. I mean, it's one war after the other. Bahamain is already uh, expanded quite a lot. Uh, Vijayanaga might still turn us around. Uh, no, it's probably best. Uh, this guy turn. Yeah, there goes Bungle Can. John Pure. Oh, I expect uh, if John Pure gets a border with Bahmanis, then he will see some fire in India. And that, uh, usually you will see three big power blocks in uh, in India sooner or later. One, one, uh, one in the northeast, usually Bengal or Orissa. One in the northwest, usually Mewar. And while Jampur tends to get eaten, 
and, and then here either Bugmanis or Vijayanagar normally. We'll, we'll see. I, I want Bengal to say to, to be 